I'm back and gonna point out more on how we plant base energetic material beings that we are harnessing some that uniqueness we can't explain so uh, it's an article here in the daily mail or whatever i'm gonna just point out how she pushing an agenda that's getting us away from nature away from the natural building blocks of life natural fibers of getting away from how you not being able to sustain yourself in a Greco-Roman Egyptian built grid you gotta depend on man in that grid of life but in nature's grid you can depend on nature and the abundance of nature which man teach ain't no abundance but here here we go look she said if it were benign nobody would use it experts warn expert warns cannabis use can permanently alter a person's brain chemistry and can increase the risk of psychiatric disorder A top neurologist is warning the frequent use of cannabis can cause a person to develop psychiatric issues in the future. Use of cannabis has become a mainstay in life of many young Americans, but one top expert is warning the drug could carry more risk than they believe. Last week on the colloquial day, <clears throat> at uh, Weed Day in America, April 20th, shit, I'm high right now. Or 420, Dr. Yasmin heard top neuroscientists at Mount Sinai in New York City warned that many young younger users may be underestimating the potential long-term effects of the drug. She warns that the high produced by the drug alters a person's brain chemistry and could even potentially put them at risk developing severe psychiatric issues down the line. So the endocannabinoid system right what if I use Google it'll be better I think it's just what you look up on this shit man it ain't about like people looking for people though like specific dates and time like, I ain't looking for that cause I'm on a something else anyway let's read on the endocannabinoid system though expression of receptors cannabinoid binding sites exist throughout the central and peripheral nervous systems the central and peripheral nervous system the two most relevant receptors for cannabinoids are cb1 and cb2 receptors which are expressed predominantly in the brain and immune system respectively why are they calling what we what our glands express naturally what they call in G proteins why they call them what we express naturally through our natural glands a drug though because is it, is it altered matter of fact it have been because in the 19 in the 90s it says that it had it had been altered and copied 
these C these cannabinoid receptors density of expression varies based on species and correlates with the efficacy that cannabinoids will have a modulating specific aspect will have in modulating specific aspects of behavior related to the site of expression <laughs> During neurotransmission, the presynaptic neuron releases neurotransmitters into the synoptic cleft, which bind to cognate receptors expressed on the postsynaptic neuron based on the interaction between the transmitter and receptor. So this is a light. This is light bearing. Cause what I was just looking up earlier was a G protein. I got that from the endocannabinoid, or it might be from the endocrine system. But like I was saying, that endo endocrine system needs endocannabinoids. Glands are glands of the endocrine system that secrete their products, hormones directly into interstitial spaces where they are absorbed into blood rather than through a duct. Meaning like a vent would do breath. Like a, like a duct, like a vent for breathing. Like your nasal passages, no, not that type of. They say absorbed into the into blood, like a serum. Like it's changing your fluid, balancing it out, right? In the G protein, they got the. They got the G protein looking like what I was just on right here it's really your hormone your glands and the hormones that they expressing or secreting which is supposed to be a secret is crystalline that's why they got the pictures like this they can't show you the real pictures, but it's crisp because it's light. G protein couple receptor, seven pass transmembrane domain receptor, seven TM receptors, heptahelical receptor, serpentine receptors. See and G protein link receptors form a large group of grow growth related proteins that, like stem cells like, that they saying that I can think I can relate it to they should you know they should cell surface receptors that detect molecules outside the cell activate cellular responses activate cellular responses Coupling with G protein, they are called seven transmembrane receptors because they pass through the cell membrane seven times. Ligands can bind either to extracellular, whatever, but we get that. Are found in the building blocks. These are found in the building. And how we need these cannabinoids. And they got seed banks and all of the places, all of the places that they Oh, no. 
Like, let's read. Let's read this. See, sativa L can be grown for three main purposes industrial, narcotic, slash recreational, and medicinal. Traditionally, C. sativa L plants were cultivated primarily as a fiber crop for the production of textiles and ropes, especially in the Western world. Despite their high nutritional value, the seeds of this plant were initially considered as a byproduct of the fiber production and hence they were mainly used as animal feed. From the first half of the 21st century, the cultivation of this crop declined of the progress of the progressive diffusion of synthetic fibers the progressive diffusion of synthetic fibers and the use of some narcotic narcotic strain of the seed sativa L plant for the production of the intoxicant drugs so do they mean like a um a fiber optic cable diffusion of a synthetic fiber and like um, um see this is why the, the the phones and shit be so addictive because they using they putting these crystalline substances inside of the electronics and then we becoming hooked for but they using them for a type of connection Shorter transmission and receiver and energy storage type thing, like because that's what we are, and the plants are those two that do that do that naturally, like we do. So let's read more on the endocannabinoid system. For example, in rodents, the highest concentration of cannabinoid binding sites are in the basal ganglia and cerebellum, regions of the, of the brain involved in the initiation and coordination of movement. In humans, cannabinoid receptors exist in much lower concentrations in these regions which helps explain why cannabinoids possess a greater efficacy a greater efficacy in altering rodent motor movements than they do in humans during neurotransmission presynaptic transmission transmitters all right during neurotransmission the presynaptic neuro re, neuron tr releases neurotransmitters into the synaptic cleft which bind to cognate receptors expressed on the postsynaptic neuron. Based upon the interaction between transmitters and receptors, neurotransmitters may trigger a variety of effects in the postsynaptic cell, such as excitation, inhibition, or the initiation of second messenger cascades. to do with memory and stuff like that is because the seeds are what's packing the energy right you are like a story waiting to unfold so it's like that energy is inf energy is information light is information basically is what all the religions is saying right so that energy inside of you is information also and it's waiting to be unlocked and activated so what this lady is helping do is helping push the narrative of people not finding themselves because she's lost also i ain't taking no shots but i'm just saying 
because you can't you study a field to say the abuse but we in a world where we need to talk about how we got to the abusive point and then you saying that uh if it was benign look a top neuroscientist dr yasmin Hurd, told a harvard conference that if marijuana was benign no one would be using it to get high right i just showed the effects and all of that and what do b9 mean kind merciful gracious b9 it's all of that it's all of that so i would say she contradicting herself it's all of that so i would say like she ain't an expert like an expert is backwards in the meaning of expert today like a fact checker is backwards in the fact and the checking of facts they're not really checking facts they going off of what if so something that's not real actually something that ain't even existing at this point she explained that cannabinoids and tetrahydrocannabinol, like I said, it's been altered. That's why it just got, it got banned so y'all can study it. Because y'all figured something was up with the seeds. That's why it's a seed bank. All the way in Antarctica and can't nobody access it but y'all. People who's willing to show that y'all down for the cause of that weird shit. All right. Or THC, as is often known as the chemical in the drug that causes the high interacts with endocannabinoids in the brain. Endocannabinoids are responsible for determining the way the cells in the brain interact with one another. The cannabinoids in THC interact with and alter the receptors that configure those interactions which is what creates the feeling people have when they consume the drug it feels intoxicating it means it is binding to a receptor and changing your brain the question is for how long and does it increase your risk for psychiatric disorders she asked so what so what we really doing when we getting high, we we preparing to um for the higher realms uh of thought. We preparing to be ready to give it the the breath we need when we get there. Because it ain't no, fa you can't be faking when you trying to, when you coming from the heart and the mind and all of them entangled together. Like I was explaining about what a plexus is, like that nerve center, them light centers. It's like you, you, you interacting with these light centers for a purpose. So then if we using them as such, then all we're going to get out of it is purpose and, and, and lessons and all of that. So like these G-Force Jet, Jet, Jet men, right, who be, who be practicing the breath, hold on, <laughs> who be practicing, practicing the breath, right? Them men, when they traveling in them jets, going at them speeds that they going at, they got to practice with limited oxygen on breathing techniques on how to hold their breath so they don't pass out because the density 
or the higher they traveling, the materials they getting heavier and weighing down on the on the lighter materials. So now, and and they chest can collapse from doing it wrong. So now they gotta, damn. So so now they gotta wait. It feel like a weight is on they on they body and they could die. Chest can collapse, cave in. If you're not using the breathing techniques right. So so then So then when When uh when you getting high, it feel like that. It's like your breath change. It's like your breathing change. It's like your vessels open up. It's like you, you gotta be open to re to receive to receive that. Ready to transition though. Be ready to transition. You ain't uh. You ain't It's like meditation It's like You going out of the body You know you about to do this And you been doing it It's like some knowledge that you been knowing That the Our, our elders <clears throat> Was you d doing this in meditation Healing themselves and all of that Traveling in different planes of existence, of thought, right? But them deep, them deep thoughts come from higher planes, so to speak. Like, look at this dude, man. Like, look at these people's faces. sticking your chest out with it. Okay. Okay. Any light loss in that run? No. Not at all. Okay. Nope. Did you feel the difference in the last third of that ride? You finally just let the G push on you. You hear him say, let the G push on you. You see them people's faces? They calling it gravity. But it's not gravity. It's them layers, them layers of reality and them speeds are like, inhumane. No human should be doing that without the proper gear. Check it out. You settled down. Your breathing got much better. It felt much better. All this grimacing you were doing with your face and stuff all went away, and you looked fairly normal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Felt much better. Just, good news is we get to practice at six and five again before we go for the big one. Okay. My fear is that when we go to seven and a half, you're going to revert back to what you've been doing. Okay. So try not to. Okay. Okay. Practice at five and six. Settle in, drop those shoulders. Really focus your attention on. I saw you messing with your legs, bringing them in and out and stuff like that. Okay, that's fine. Just well, when we go to seven and a half, bring them in and leave them. Okay. Okay. Continue to try to keep your head back and push with those lower part of your abs. Okay, and let the G push on your chest. Okay. It'll help you. Okay. This ride's going to be done with a break. You can re. Cause look how they look go from looking old to young again. That's like you traveling through time, playing with time. But time is an illusion. So you actually focusing on traveling through layers of reality as you focus on them. 
to the, your left. Easy with the head. Okay, this is go no go thing. The stick is only going to control the pipper. So if you need to stop, you let go of the brake. Other than that, don't let go of it. Okay. Gotcha. First peak we're going to do is three legs only. Then we're going to go to six. I'll say fights on from here on out. Okay. I'll just okay. Say fights on. That's your key cue to tighten the legs and get your prep breath. Okay? okay. Settle in as early as possible. Let it push on you. Think of how you feel right now. That's just, it's just your upper body should just stay that way. Okay. okay. Come back down to three. You can completely and totally relax. Then we'll try five. If you're looking really good through the uh, second half of the five, I may let you uh, just breathe normally and work on that lower body push. Okay. Okay. We go to seven and a half. Don't take too big a prep. Okay. It's real easy because you're getting a little winded. You get this huge breath because you're going seven and a half and start bearing down like crazy. Okay. Take your normal prep and just squeeze your butt harder. That's all you have to do. Okay. okay. Lights start to come in. Push with the abs. Squeeze the butt a little harder. Okay. Get okay. that upper body out. It's only going to hurt you. Not ready? I am ready. You go ahead and squeeze that brake and hold it. Make it squeeze on it. All right. right. We're going to hit the start button. First little peek here, so you can grab the stick. You go pew 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 and shoot the guy. First little peek here is three and fights on going to three. Just legs. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Practice right here, push with those abs. Relax that upper body. Get it relaxed now. Next peak is six. Fight signs. Your breath. On top of three. Settle in. Drop your there you go. Three. Nice short, sharp breaths. Push with those abs. Three. Your butt tight. Bring the knees in a little bit. Three. Looking good. You're back to three. Alright. Good, good job self-correcting that upper body. Slow your breathing down. Next one's only five. And fight's on. Going to five. Breathe. There you go. One, two, breathe. Relax the upper body. Push with those abs. There you go. You can uh, just uh, breathe normally if you want and, and practice the ab push. Slow it by your back to three. Okay, looking good. Don't let that tension creep in on the next one, okay? Okay. Seven and a half's the next one. And fight time going up. Drop those shoulders, push out those abs, breathe. Get your butt nice and tight for me, breathe. There you go, bring those knees in, push those lights back out, breathe. Looking good, keep working it, and you're coming down, stay tight, stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. And you can go of the break now. Okay, got it, like it. And you can take your hand off the stick. Do you have any light loss? Uh, I got about 20% light loss on that seven and a half, but then I pushed it out. How'd you push it out? Uh, squeezing the legs together and the butt. Okay. Yeah. Good job. See how it got easier when you settled in? Every peak, you'd start out with that tension, and then you'd see your whole upper body just drop like three inches. Okay, as you, as you just let the G push on. The fact, the fact that they can, uh, they made that damn machine for them to practice that was wild. But see, when we access them, because endo, in means in, inner, do me action, inner action, right? Because before your action becomes a macro action, it has to be conjured up in the thought, in the mind first, right? In the brain, before the body actually does something that is going to help it grow not like a muscle memory thing or a, a, you know what I'm saying on some robot shit like you ain't doing that shit you you know this is a this is a analytical uh, thought out action so yeah, with these, and, but I think she know, she know, she know. That's why they, 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 they putting her out here. This was two days ago though. Two days ago she said this. Why is it just, they got a war on the plants, bro? They like, they like, weird. Doctors war on plants is crazy on the seeds though. Them seeds ain't doing nothing but giving life to every being on the planet, 
trees too and, and they just got it out for them it's like real some real hatred going on look the developing embryo expresses cannabinoid receptors early in development that are responsive to an anandamide secreted in the uterus. This signaling is important in regulating the timing of embryonic implantation and urine receptivity. So it's like to pull from everywhere. You can use everything. You just can't use this for for uh, what y'all using it for. I don't know what y'all finding, but all I'm getting is answers because I'm looking up real shit once again. But the endocrine, like the the supportive system, endocrine, endocrine, crane, the supporter for the, like the immune supports you. Endocrine glands are glands, the endocrine system that secrete their products. Right, we read that earlier. Neuroendocrine organs see neural input and as a consequence of this input release messages release message molecules which are called hormones into the blood which is those g proteins i just showed that are crystalline because you a crystalline energetic being Cause you made from a lot of hey we the mix up we the special ones every human is is got their own uniqueness now we talk to knock each other's uniqueness just because we can't see something how they see it Secrete T3 Thyroid hormone It affects almost every physiological process In the body Including growth and development Metabolism Body temperature And heart rate Adrenal glands Adrenal cortex Right, but this y'all shit, this y'all science and all that, what we, what y'all naming the body, and I'm just correlating it with what I know all together. Like him being, the, well, I just read this, the seed of industrial hemp, National Library of Medicine. National Center for Biotechnology Information. All that good shit. Sources y'all like. I don't know why. See, that'd be the thing I'd be talking about. Like, people when they focus. Like, just because somebody take their focus and focus on the right things. What, what we calling right or whatever. But doing it with purpose, though. And you can't do that. How you gonna knock them? That's the most haterish shit ever. And that's what niggas be doing. Niggas, I mean everybody. The black, pink, purple, blue mother, all of them. Just 
See what I'm saying? All you got to do is read. But the fact that they engineering, they altering the TAC though, that's dangerous. That's why a lot of people need to be learning the, uh, how to plant and grow. Because we going to have to grow our own food sooner or later. And uh, we can't trust Monsanto and and the Gates family to be doing all of this extra stuff if they own the majority of the land, right? It just wouldn't make sense for us to put our lives and all of and our everything into the hands of somebody else, all because we was looking for convenience and the things that would seem easiest to us to acquire in the future if we ever had to call on somebody like it don't make sense despite the high nutritional value the seeds of this plant were initially considered as a byproduct of the fiber production and hence they were mainly used as animal feed <laughs> Yeah, that lady trying to keep some secrets too but really she not at the same time because she's just studying studying neurology which is the study of being able to produce new cells aka generate new thoughts aka innovative thoughts having innovative thoughts because ain't nothing new so she's just talking about how to stimulate growth in those cells and activate more of the brain actually because this is about activation you know they talk about you you can only activate certain parts of your brain yeah, that's because they hiding shit from you. They ain't pointing out to you really what's what. But I'm going to leave it right there for now.